this is Rick with Medics, and we're here today to talk about YouTube. We'll discuss the method of being able to add a premiere and customize that premiere. So the first thing you want to do is go to your channel and click Manage Videos. Once you've done that and you've uploaded your video over here on the visibility section, you can schedule a premiere. You can set the date and the time or set up the premiere. So here we can set up the premiere. You can pick a theme. So each one of these has a different theme. You can play the theme, kind of get a look at it. Back to Edit Premiere, you can determine how long you want the countdown to be, anywhere from one minute to five minutes. I usually pick two minutes. And there's another option down here to add a trailer. And what this will do is allow you to pick a video, as long as it's anywhere from, I think, 15 seconds to three minutes, that when someone clicks on the Premiere, that trailer will appear uh, on the video. Now. I did run into a problem with the trailer, and I'll try to walk you through what the issue with that was. Um, if you, let's get out of this. So this is the, cancel. This is the video that I was trying to add a trailer to, is, drive, is OneDrive malware. And originally I uploaded this trailer. It says, is OneDrive malware trailer? Now, if you notice over here, we'll go back into the Premiere. Let's see. Yeah, Premiere. And we'll say Set Up Premiere. We'll come down to Trailer and say Add. And that one that just says Trailer on it is not visible. So it's not listed over here. And I couldn't really figure out why. So I did a number of tests with different videos. At first, I thought it was maybe because I reused the details of the video um, I, I wasn't sure. I used the same thumbnail. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. But really what it came down to is the one that says trailer right here. If you notice, it, I premiered it. So when you upload the video, and we'll just walk through that real quick and I'll show you. So when we say create, upload a video, select a file, and it doesn't really matter uh, which file we select, but we'll just keep using the same file for consistency. When you go through the process, video elements to checks, and you get to visibility, you have some options over here. So you can say public, okay, unlisted, or private. Now, if you select unlisted, you could use it as a trailer as long as it's under the three minutes. If you select public, you can use it for a trailer. But if you pick instant premiere or you schedule a premiere and then you go ahead and premiere this video, once it's premiered, you will not be able to use it as a trailer. So that's the key right there. This one that says public could be used. But when you get down here to trailer, the fact that it said premiered, so it can be, as long as it's published, it's okay. But once it premieres, you cannot use it as a trailer. Kind of going back through that process, setting up a premiere, add your trailer. Any of these can be picked that have not premiered. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll say schedule. All right, so now that we've added that trailer, I kind of want to walk you through that. So we'll go to this Premiere video and we'll click on play. And so that concludes our video demonstration of OneDrive. And you can see now that the video, the video is playing, the, the trailer is playing, and the video premieres in three days. So it's kind of neat. It's a way to get your videos up you know, create a little excitement, give someone a summary of what it's going to be about. That way you generate more interest in your videos.
and that's what it looks like so it's scheduled if you have any questions or comments please post them below i'd be interested in your use of trailers how you have used them have they helped you with your channel any ideas or feedback on creating trailers what you found is the most useful hope you will consider subscribing and have a great and wonderful automation day